What's up? What it do? What it do? All right, you, you guys. Wait, first of all, for those of you that are new here, my name is Alethea and I welcome you to my channel, to all my oldie but goodies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. Now that we've got all that out of the way, this little, I'm just doing an introduction to a video that was previously recorded. So, I retightened my daughter's hair and I recorded it and I forgot to do an intro. I did an outro, or we did an outro, but I forgot to do an intro. So I'm doing that intro now. And let me say this, in that video, I try to show you all my rotation, but my hand kind of gets in the way a little bit of me doing the rotation. So that wasn't so good, but I still wanted to upload the video and show you what I did do and to give you the opportunity to ask some questions related to me retightening her hair and what I do. With that being said, if you are interested in seeing how I retighten my daughter's hair, then please continue to watch. All right, y'all, so I am at the back of her head and I've done two rolls of locks thus far. And I'm using this tool right here that Rich Roots sent to me. This has been a lifesaver because at first I was using a crochet needle but I'm using this and so I'm going to do a few of the camera so I take and I go by kind of like rolls and I take this roll down and as you can see she has a good little bit of new growth and she actually has some locks that were marrying this time Last time, the last couple of times I've done her hair, I haven't had a lot of locks that married, but this time, yeah, they were on point with that. So just take this clip right here, move the ones out of the way I'm not working with. And so I have this one right here. So what I do is I take the hair. Can you see that I kind of loop it a little bit. I put it in there, bring it through, and then I lock the hair in place right there see and we do have like you see on this one two-headed dragons we have those but then all I do is I go in from three to nine o'clock and I do a four-point rotation on her head and then I go in from six to twelve and then nine to three and then 12 to six. And I always try to make sure I end on 12 to six. There we go. And then if it's too tight, she lets me know that it's too tight and I'll stop that rotation. But I never want to end from six to 12 because it kind of makes the hair stick up. So I'm either going to end with 12 to six or going from three to nine or nine, from nine to three or three to nine, but never from six to 12. So let me do another one. And I just kind of pull that to make sure that hair is away from that. I don't put any product on here. Now, when I get to the end, if I go and try to do something about her two-headed dragons, I'll put a product on those, but otherwise, no product. All right, so same as before. One of the things that happens with her hair, and it almost ticks me off that I didn't do them all smaller, but we would still be fighting about that right now. But I think I get more rotations. No, I know I get more rotations on the ones that are smaller than the ones that are bigger. And I hope my hand is not in the way and you can Really see what I'm doing.
show y'all something. So right here, she has this little piece of hair that is like a pizza, you know, where you have the four, the, the thing right there. It just forever keeps coming out of the lock. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to keep, so I'm gonna wrap it and see if I can get it into the retie because I am sick of this little piece of hair. And she comes to me with it as if I'm, I'm, I can do something to it. When she was younger, she used to cut it off. She used to cut the little pizza off like she didn't have anything better to do. Do you what what do you see me with a lot of friends? No. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you gotta be your friend. You gotta be your circle. We have owed you guys a Q and A for some time now, pretty much, about her locks. So if there are any questions that you have for her in regards to her locks, so that we can come back and do like a Q&A, not like a Q&A, so that we can come back and do a Q&A on her locks, please leave those questions down below. And we will make a video about it. So I'm going to finish up these last few locks and I'm going to come in, come back in rather, and give you all a 360 of her hair all right so we are now done i am done with her hair and she has some dandruff i don't know if y'all can see that but she has some dandruff and i did go through her scalp really well so in this bottle right here there's nothing but some extra virgin olive oil so i'm just going to spray her scalp just to kind of get a little bit of moisture in there and i'm going to well no there's extra virgin olive oil and rosemary oil. I smell it. I forgot I had rosemary in here. So she has to sit under the dryer or hold the blow dry up to her head because her hair is not 100% dry and I do not let her lie down with her hair having any type of moisture in it because once she puts her slap cap on, then if it has any type of wet, not moisture, but wetness to it, then I don't want her hair to get a, a smell. I don't want that to happen. So she cannot lie down until it's 100% completely dry. So like I said, she does have some locks that are frizzy. And as I've said, there are some locks that I wish were smaller, but for the most part, I am pleased with her hair. I love my um, hair. Every time I said something about taking some locks down, why, why, you know, so. I don't sound like that. That's, that is what you sound like. So that's where we're at. So like I said, if you have any questions, then please do leave them and we'll come back and do a Q and A. All right, so we're gonna try to do a 360 so that you guys can see what it looks like. So let me move this camera to a different position. So that is it for this one. Like I said, if you have any questions for her, not for me, for her, well, for both of us. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section and we'll come back to you guys with a, with an, with a Q and A answer, with an answers on whatever your questions are. So yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video across all your social media sites. So until the next time in between time, you ladies and gentlemen be safe and 
I will do what? <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. Let's do a thumbnail. Do a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> a mess.